Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Strategy and Tactics number 107. This is uh, when it was published by SPI. This came out in May and June of 1986. The game in here is Warsaw Rising. I believe it's about the Polish underground during 1944. Let's take a look inside and see what this is all about. Yes, Game of the Polish Resistance, 1944. It's designed by John Prados. So it starts out uh, showing the different unit symbols. Looks like it's using standard military symbols. Let's go to the introduction here so we see what this game is about. Introduction on 1st of August 1944, as Russian forces drove on Warsaw from the east, the Polish home army and the city rose against the German garrison. The result was the largest urban guerrilla action of the war. Outnumbered and badly equipped Polish forces, after initial successes, su succumbed to German counterattacks after after nine weeks of house-to-house -house fighting, politically the home army Poles sought to, sought to block the establishment of a communist government. Militarily, the seizure of the Vistola River bridges would have cut German supply lines through the city. Historically, the failure to achieve either objective had repercussions that continued to this day. All right, sequence of play. Game turn summary. Looks like this is an impulse game. First Polish impulses movements, then defensive reserve segment and combat segment and then there's an offensive reserve segment and then it goes to the first German impulse and then the second Polish impulse second German impulse and then there's a reorganization phase so it goes over movement here such as movements restrictions tactical movements strategic movements railroad movement that's cool and then it's got deployment modes like maneuver mode combat mode changing mode whatever that is i'll know once i read the rules facing and changing facing and then uh, talks about stacking up to three combat units can be present in a stack and it's got fog of war goes over zones of control headquarter and reserve units now it's going over combat surprise assaults retreat after combat Oh, it's got armored trains, engineers, that's cool, air power, and that's going over the unit breakdowns. It's even got Western Intervention. Soviet artillery becomes available as a Polish reinforcement, and there's special capability counters. And then victory conditions, looks like you get victory points to win. And there's some scenarios, that's good. Scenario one, Warsaw Rises. Is there any other scenarios? Scenario two, the German Juggernaut. So it looks like two scenarios. Well, that's not bad for a magazine game. And there's the terrain effects chart here printed in the book. And a combat results table. There's an upper matrix and a lower matrix. And it shows the assault modifiers and die roll modifiers. And here's what all the counters look like in case you lose one so you can uh, make your own. That's cool. All right, let's take a look at the map now and the counters. Let's, let's look at the counters first. Counters are stand, or most of them are standard unit symbols. For some reason, it chose to use the tanks with a picture of a tank, but that's okay. Airplanes. So, I mean, they look like this is what you generally uh, expect from a magazine game from this era, The uh, what the counters look like. They're thick enough and stuff, too, so, I mean, that's pretty. they're pretty reasonable for a magazine game from the early 80s. Let's look at the map. Map looks kind of interesting. So, this is kind of neat. Pretty, really colorful. 
This looks like something you can almost put in a frame and hang on your wall and say it's like made by some abstract artist who died in the early 20th century or something. Very interesting. Actually, it looks like I got it upside down. Nice. I, I really like the way this map looks. <laughs> and here you can keep track of the German victory points. And here's the German victory points schedule. Terrain key right on the map. Very good. Turn record trap on uh, track on the map. That's good. This other side here is for the other player to see. Weapon capture table. That's cool. Airdrop weapons table, Polish unit promotion table, Polish victory point schedule, and Polish victory points and weapon stocks. So it's kind of neat for a magazine game. Uh, I look forward to trying this in the future. I think this might be kind of cool. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you guys this. If you like the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.